Go down to the woods <laughs> today, you better not go alone. Oh, is that how it goes? I thought it was like... You You're in for a big surprise. surprise. That's the, I, I went straight to the second <coughs> birth. Um, <laughs> the three of us. Yes. For every bird that ever was, it's going to be for so because we did the tiny bits out of the pig. <laughs> anyway, we are going down to the woods today. We don't need an expensive musical introduction, do we? We can sing. <laughs> or maybe we do need an expensive yeah. musical introduction, and we've just proved it. Um, another, it's another request. Would we talk about woods and like try to stop us? Oh, this was a request, or that's lovely. I know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get all the stuff out. Mm -hmm. What, what should we? Should we alphabet. We start with Amaris. <laughs> oh, Amaris is a wood. I've seen this on literally, like, when you sometimes put in the um, lovely notes section, like, Amaris. And I always thought it was something related to Ambergris. Ambergris. Oh, Ambergris. yes, of course. Yeah, just Amaris, sounded the Ambergris. Same. <laughs> I was thinking, like, absinthe people might think it's a herb, oh. but it's a wood. And even better, for the Doctor Who fans, its name is also Torchwood. Oh, that's awesome. <coughs> I'm the coffee day. Mm. It's alright, being tested, I'm negative. I love that that's just like what everyone says now. <laughs> yes. It's okay, it's a cough. <clears throat> um, it's a stressy cough worrying <clears throat> about the people turning up this afternoon for the craft week. Um, right. Mm. Arthur's gone quiet. So this is known as West Indian sandalwood. This one is from Haiti. Mm. It's not a sandalwood, but it smells so similar, and it costs so much less, and it's so much more sustainable, because it's a shrub, so it grows quite quickly, and it's called torchwood, because the wood sets on fire really easily as well. But when things are mm. from Haiti, I like buying them so that the Haitians get some money, because hate these. Haiti just gets over one disaster and another one smacks it in the gob. So me, I mean, my friends had this like massive historical rant about like Haiti and how it's come to be in this stuff. Well, <laughs> you know, all, well, all I think I can do is mm -hmm. give them my money. Yeah, spend your money so, in the right places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the secret thing about Amaris is that I'd say you can use it instead of sandalwood maybe with a bit of sandalore as well, which is a single molecule that smells. Not only like sandalwood, sandalore is so sandalwoody. Whoa, we've gone dark. <laughs> and then we're going light again. Um, yes, it's, it's weather, what can you do? Mm. We might be in a plane, going directly oh. over. No, because there's no noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We know what planes are like because that was yesterday. Yeah, of course. It was a cloud. Or a silent plane. Yeah. Um, so. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I'm not I, I don't, not displeased with that. I quite, I quite like <laughs> it. But it's got like, it doesn't smell woody to me. Like, my brain doesn't go, ah, oh, this is a wood. It smells a bit herby. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And lots of woods are quite herby. And in fact, sandalwood is quite herby. Oh. And people are surprised when they smell sandalwood because instead of smelling natural sandalwood in a lot of fragrances, what they're actually smelling is this. Arthur, what do you feel about it? Um, I think it smells leathery. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So this is sandalore. Mm. I've probably already said what I think every time I hear that name. Probably, I think it's in another video about how it's like the history of the sand people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and they discover gold? Yeah. I know. Um, yes, the Lord yeah. of Sandals. Yeah. Yes, they should have their own language. We can mm. all speak Sanda. Oh, that. Oh, sorry, and write start. it into Sanda lore. Oh my god, I'll write a book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Sanda peoples, they live in the sand. Mm -hmm. um, all the attractiveness of sand. Sand allure. The sand mm. <laughs> Um, or sandal or <laughs> Wellingtons. Yeah. <laughs> We're not. Okay, yeah, okay. Right, but the thing about this one is that a lot of people think that this is sandalwood now because so mm. many sandalwood fragrances smell of this because it's so good. But I think if you put this with Amaris, you kind of magic yourself 
a very convincing Mysore sandalwood, which is the best one you can buy, but it's seriously endangered because people keep cutting them down before the trees mature. Mm. So, but there's, the Australia's growing Mysore sandalwood, well, growing the, that, managed to grow that species now, so. In some nice, um, <coughs> fair trade, equal ownership That's projects good. as well. Which we like. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yes, sandalwood, expensive, lovely. Amaris, smells a bit like sandalwood, about one tenth of the price. Mm -hmm. And sandalore, lovely, long lasting signal, signal, single molecule. It's an option. It's an option. Uh, talking of sandalwood, which this is not, this is 100%, <laughs> but I'll just put a tiny bit of tidy bit on the end of the strip because that's all you'll need but this is the new new thing well what's happened is that it actually by itself Dreamwood Dreamwood is a captive and that means that the company that make it I, can't remember, I think it's Firminish I think and they keep it for themselves and if you want this in your fragrance you have to go to them to have it made so this is not pure dream wood this is their dream wood base because they realized everybody wants some mm. but they're not allowing mm. their <coughs> patented molecule out yet so it's, it's a captive i always think of it as a molecule with long hair up a tower <laughs> like rapunzel <laughs> captives just like but so dream wood base is no, I'll tell you what's happened. This is really difficult to smell because it's not diluted. Yeah. If we put mm. ethanol on, it takes, like we were just saying in the fixative film, it takes a long time to get off the strip mm -hmm. if it's not diluted. I'm tempted. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bomb a drop of Isui Super diluted on it and then it will go whoosh. So just let that dry a bit. Because the Isui Super won't interrupt very much in fear because so suddenly oh yeah Here yeah go. and that's why we put ethanol in fragrances <laughs> so the dream wood is you know everybody's saying it's the kind of best single molecule sandalwood that there's ever been but it is brilliant yeah, yeah. it's lovely i still love sandalwood and it, we I all love rush to the new new things don't we i do love sandalwood yeah, but dream, <coughs> dream wood's good stuff. So that is the dream wood base, which is allowed out. It just base means it's not a base note. It means it's mixed mm. with another few things by them. The texture of this is that plant. I don't know what that plant is. The money plant. Yeah, but that texture on its leaves, I think, is this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Like it's really smooth, but has like this feel to it. Mm. So I'm going to spray a thing now, because it's one of those films mm. where we see if we can pick up the fragrance of the woods in Here's One I Made Earlier. <coughs> I always wanted to be on Blue Peter. <laughs> and then you get to a point where you realise you're actually too old to be a Blue Peter presenter. I also, I never really was interested in Blue Peter. <gasps> I know. I've got my badge still. Oh. I've got, I've, it's 64 years. No, I'm not. 54 years old. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is saltburn driftwood. And I've mm. used both amaris, my like both, all amaris and sandalore and dreamwood base in it and cashmere and velvet, your favourite, and mm. a shed load of vetiver actually. It's funny because that's all coming out now. When I when I have bottled salt burn driftwood, I get the kind of the salty bit, the sea. Yeah, the seaside I get, I, get, I get all of that mainly. Mm -hmm. But now I'm getting the driftwood. Yeah. Mm, I'm wearing funny. this today actually. Mm -hmm. It just I just felt like it goes with a grey mm -hmm. woolly sweater mm. for a walk a walk along the beach on a cold day. Yeah. So although vetiver is not a wood. It is made from the root of a grass. It's sort of counted in woods because it's so 
Woody. <laughs> Woody. Yeah, yeah. I left. I left a gap there for it to be. That was the correct <laughs> answer. I think that one. This is just. So. I mean, I'm always fascinated when we do this little experiment because I mean, I spent a lot of time with most of these perfumes, and now they just kind of change, just completely change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is this is quite a smoky vetiver. I started off using quite a smoky vetiver, and then. I had to sort of continue using quite smoky better bears because that's what's in most of my fragrances. But I've moved over to a bit of a nutty one, a Brazilian mm -hmm. one recently, and it's the Brazilian nutty one that's in salt boundary wood. But you take this and also that of makes the back of my throat itchy. Does it? Yeah. When it's I smell it, it's like I feel like I feel like yeah, I feel like I get an itchy throat. The thing is Not that, an actual itchy throat. I know, just the, 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 a texture relief. Yeah. Like I, I appreciate vetiver and what it does for fragrances, but I'm not necessarily like the biggest fan of it. No. <coughs> um, well, it's in something like 30% um, of all men's fragrances, probably. Right? Wow. We're going to have to be careful with it because sustainability. Mm. Because you, you know, pull the roots out of the ground and it's not so good for the soil. Mm. But, okay. <laughs> so, I think you're what's important is that woods are, yeah. all woods are not the same. Mm. All woods are not created equal. This is at, well, 2% strength. This is lovely. Mm. This is so good. I find it funny, like, I can really love this, but I don't like it too much. It's like, like, this You see, Arthur's, because Arthur's been away in the summer days a bit, he's forgotten what they were on. Yeah, I mm. have. White birch. Yeah, I knew this was so white this birch. Is the... It just smells like campfire. It's yes, so it does. Good. It smells just like campfire. Well, it's less smoky than I remember it being. I think when it's at 2%, probably, actually, if we put ice soup on that, it would make it mm. leap off a bit. I went to there for spray. What if I put it in? Uh, another kiss by the fireside. Um, me and my family had our last summer barbecue and this just smells like when um, Dad has taken the bits of charcoal and puts them and, just, and they, they're out in the cold and you come back to them the next day. This is that and it's mm. just yeah. really interesting. Would you like to pass me another strip sensitive yes. book bag? We're ripping through them today. Um, yes, uh, to, but to be used in tiny amounts because people will smell it and go, oh, that's a great smell, squirt, and then that's mm. all you can smell in your fragrance. Whereas some of our, that is, some woods are quite soft mm. and you can use a lot of them and they don't, they're not rude, you know, they don't, they don't <laughs> barge rude. in and take over. So, you get another kiss by the fireside. It's got a certain amount of smokiness, but it's also got lavender and rose and other things. It smells completely different to me now. Mm. <laughs> and it's got so it's, it's got an aroma of cinnamon biscuits as well. So it's a farm yard table, Love it. but by the big fire and spicy biscuits and. Dried lavender mm. hanging up and a bunch of roses. I love it. I I wore this a lot um, a few years ago. And I think I might have. I wish I hadn't worn it because it was over a time when I was going through a breakup. And so now when I smell it, I'm just I'm like, this is my favourite fragrance, but I can't wear mm. it. So I didn't want to ask, but I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah. Oh dear. It's weird, but it's, it's funny, it is isn't it, how yeah, that happens? Because now yes. I smell it, I'm like, that is confined to history now. Yeah, that smell. but this just goes... It's one of my favourites. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like the Andy absolutely Warhol thing. It. Use it to remind you of that time. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes we don't want to when we we bump into those things. Yeah. Um, sandalwood, by the way, of course. Of course. A big sandalwood. Well, that's two. Oh, my soul. But also, Midnight. In the Palace Garden. Midnight in the Palace Garden. Possibly Arthur's mm -hmm. favourite, or is it mm. being taken over by something? No, else? no, Midnight in the Palace Garden is just wonderful. But at the moment, oh. the, 
This, yeah. I'm getting this. Oh, oh I'd forgotten. <laughs> yeah. I am terrible. Yeah, why don't I wear this more? Mm. I love this. It's gorgeous. The funny thing, I, th I think of it as not my kind of fragrance because it's sort of citrus, slightly sweet, woodsy, you've got the flowers mm. in it. Is it the, it's got the lot. Um, oh, it's so good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is not one that I necessarily wear on my skin so often, and I'm smelling it, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, um, but I love this in the air. I wear like, this a lot. It's, it's handy revisiting these things mm -hmm. sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, I might even secretly put an AM Midnight in the Palace Garden room fragrance, just especially Yeah, <laughs> put it on the, yeah, yes, on on the shopping list. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I just love this in, you know, when I bottle it, it's just fantastic because it lingers as well, it's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. We should probably, we should probably talk a bit about wood. Mm. Which is Arabic for wood, mm. by the way, so, but it's specifically from the agar wood tree. And specifically from an agar wood tree that has been infected with a particular, I guess it's a fungus. And then it's distilled. And this is uh, actual <coughs> posh brought back from Dubai wood, mm. which I used up pretty much all of it. It's so good. Yeah, this is a little bit of a bottle left that I brought back. Oman Suyufi. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, so, and that's why people love oud fragrances. I love it. However, one of the problems is that some of the oud recreations in existence are those things you can smell from yeah. 10 oh, yards away, yeah. and it's the, the big power fragrance, whereas mm -hmm. you know, the blokes with the big cars mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like all interested in the big. Because um, mm -hmm. I was going to say, you can, I mean, props to anyone who can get an oud right, but I sometimes I've smelled some oud stuff and I'm like, that's a lot. For just a <laughs> Where one is it? Uh, one of my actually, going out smells is an oud. Is mm -hmm. it? Yeah. The, a lot Love of it. Arabic culture, though, mm. they'll they'll put it on their clothes and like inside robes and mm. um, it, it, the the modern like Western mm. oud fragrances, which have turned into powerhouses, they can be. Because this is lovely. Like I could happily wear this on my skin. Like this is something that I feel would sit yeah. so lovely on which my skin. Which is what people do. Just mm -hmm. take, take it off and 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 wear it straight. So I can kind of just see what it would look like this one. Yeah. This one. Just to be. Absolutely. So there's a little bit of oud in the waffle loft. In fact, I I say a little bit. I used up all my best Arabic oud <laughs> in the waffle the loft because oh, yes. Joe and Dan like it so much. But yeah, I think oud oud is abused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that. Mm. That's a waft. Mm. I mean, the wafts. When did we release this? About February? Did yeah. it finally come out? I think. I and would it's, say so. It's improved over the last. Oh, yeah. It really has. I haven't smelt it for. I haven't smelt it for probably six months. Yeah. So there's a bit left, and the people who still have theirs and are saving them up should use it. Mm -hmm. And the people who haven't got any, there's a bit left. Yeah. Or oh, I smelled the concentrate the other day because yeah. you still got to touch a concentrate. Yeah. And I was doing the stock check. Oh, it's, yeah. That is the that is the waft noise, you know. Oh. Dan and Joe, but if you haven't watched any of their films, <laughs> no. they, they go ooh all oh, the time. Yeah. Like suit you, sir. Yeah. But that's it's the so part. Good. It's so wow, good. Wow, it's really it's really matured. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Again, I'm a very like floral gourmand person, but like this type of stuff in the air for me is like It's got flowers and it's got mm. it's yeah. a little in it as well. It's just it's, it's, yeah. yeah. I'm not quite pleased with that. I think I need to stash a few bottles before mm -hmm. I realise that I haven't. Lion cupboard. Lion cupboard. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, mm -hmm. lion cupboard is really good. Is it, I mean, I think each kind of, what do you, what do you call it, like fragrance genre yeah. has like a different emotion for me. I just find woods extremely comforting. Yeah, good, because this is the, you know, <laughs> you know the history. Mm -hmm. I've gone and sprayed it again because I like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so the um, mm, it the sort of it sort of works nicely as a room spray lion so cupboard because yeah. 
It does smell. It immediately takes you to the. Oh, you've got one. Yeah, I'll have um, two. I'll have two. It's slight, it slight immediately one. takes me to a really, really nice National Trust property. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It takes me to a 1960s mid century um, house in the northeast of England yeah. where I lived for ever so many years. I don't have a particular memory attached to Lion Covered, I just think of Narnia. Yes. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you could definitely go through the back yeah. and out the other side into forest. Mm -hmm. It's um, but it's, so it has the oak wood in. It has a little bit of wood. It has sandalwood. It has the all the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's worth mentioning Ice Wee Super. As a wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like it just floats between everything. It does, but it sometimes if you see on a notes list white woods. They're meaning I see super. Quite often. So think of it <coughs> as a woody fragrance and see what happens. It's not happening? No, I mean, <laughs> I, I, can, I can believe how someone got there, but like it doesn't. Okay. Keep it separate and we'll waft it around with I'll a few woods. things. Mm -hmm. But it goes very, very well. Classic, with that the Billy Idol classic, White Woods. <laughs> nice white, day white. for a white wooding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a nice day. It's almost yeah. worth cutting out the video, that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're probably right. This oud, I know we're going backwards, but wow. On yeah. your skin, it's just fantastic. I don't. Yes. Yes, yes, that's that. That's what oods are for. Yeah, really. I, I'm part, I'm now kind of wondering, like, why is anyone? And not that you shouldn't turn it into a perfume and put ethanol in it or not, but geez, this is lovely. I think, I think, yeah. I think they do. On the on the Oxford Street, isn't there that oud shop? Oh yeah, the oh the, 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 oh, yeah, the Arabian oud yeah. shop yeah. opposite Selfridges. They're so nice. You go in and they just like the. Friendliest people, but you can't go out without buying. Oh, I mean, it's yeah. like it's, it's impossible because they say they 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 nice you into and, buying yeah. something, and everything's always half price for a reason. Mm. Mm. You know, they'll they'll tell you whichever reason it was it is that day, but it's always half price. Hey, you're right. It's, it's, it is nice. Yeah, it's fantastic on your skin. Okay, so I'm getting to the point now mm. where I've, I've, I've yes. outwards me nose, but. Mm. <clears throat> Here's the thing. It what does actually. The, the brief was not oud. In fact, well, the brief started off, mm. and then it changed halfway through to don't put oud in. But I it? did. This is dark queen. What? I've been bottling dark queen for Sucrave, and this is just like a completely different dark queen. I mean, I believe you, but this is not what I've been bottling. <laughs> Yeah. It, what? No, I'll tell you what's happened. Yeah. It's, I'll tell you exactly what's happened. We've, we've woods these down noses up, and what we're probably getting is the berries. But I did actually put a film in this oud. It's got a number of numbers after it. A number of numbers. It has a series of numbers, but it's. You see, I have this really dark. There's a. There's a. a Giveron. Uh, black agar chivko, which is pretty gorgeous. There's another black agar, which is really not. And this is a different one. So this is a feminish one. And I feel it as a kind of chestnut colour, mm. not as black kind of oud at all. But so I used a bit of this to make it animalic. Uh, I, I mean, genuinely like an animal. I, mm. I, I think th this is a sort of a a furry cat, a big furry cat. Oh, you see a furry eating berries oh. in the woods. See, I get like a prowling jaguar, and it's like in the trees in the rainforest, and like obviously there's like berries and stuff. Is it a jaguar or is a cat? That is a big furry cat. Well, not okay. When you said furry, I got like a little puffball cat. No, 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 yeah. no, no. That is exa oh, we're, we're on the same, same animal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the language, yeah. the English, yeah. English language. Yeah. Yes. Okay. See a see yeah. a really furry. lanky not, dog. Not, not oh really? Fur. I see a greyhound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess when you said ferret, I got in my like you know those little puff balls. Yeah, no, those ones. No, just mm, yeah, sleep, 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 sleep. 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 Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's, it's stunning. So um, 
what I like to do is incorporate, if I've got, if I've got wood, incorporate it into other things. This actually is a bit in Midnight in the Past Garden. There's some in the waft, there's some in Lion Cupboard. Um, there's the, the synthetic recreation in Dark Queen. And oh. yeah, so that's, that's why. Um, now, do we count patchouli as a wood? Because it's technically a, technically a mint, although it oh. tends to get counted. I thought it was, I thought literally patchouli came from like the patchouli tree. <laughs> well, the well, patchouli it's like plant, a... but oh, it's yeah. just little and it's mm. more of a herb. So Yeah, no, I would put patchouli in herbaceous, I would call it. Maybe I thought, I, let's try it again, I might disagree with myself. Well, let's make <laughs> What we haven't done is the cedars yet, or the sandalwood mm. and I'll try and say whole wood without making you giggle. <laughs> it's already happened now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But whole wood mm -hmm. genuinely smelt, spelt, smelt, H O from the whole tree is mm. basically Lina Lowell. So it smells smell that. just like sand, uh, rosewood and it's cheaper. But this is um, not that. No. This it's is patchouli. patchouli. Mm. Which I do like to use a lot because it's very chocolatey in. Mm certain amounts. Not a big fan of it by itself, Julie. Yeah, no. I was, I was going to say around. It goes in the same, it goes in the same drawer as vetiver. Yes. Probably. And I, I smelled a really patchouli rose this week. Somebody had recommended this dark rose by Check and Speak to me. And I, and lo, I found a sample in the big uh -huh. box of samples. So I sprayed it. It's like, oof, patchouli. Yeah. Um, like again, I, I, I appreciate what it does and perfume and, and you know, what it's been used for, but... Mm -hmm. Not for me. Okay, sandalwood <laughs> and patchouli, and lots of us say, Oh my goodness, I'd forgotten. Oh, this trip down memory lane today, smelling these. Mm. This takes me mm -hmm. straight to Morecambe, where I went to the classic car boot sale <laughs> in 2013, just before we moved into the building, and that was the end of my life of freedom. Mm. Um, I love a car boot sale, you get such great stuff. Oh, the vintage club, it says, like, oh, it, it, yes, Wayne Hemingway's thing. You've got to get on the mailing list. Oh, okay. Anyway, so this is London 1969, mm -hmm. and it's got this, the, the Soho part of it, is mm -hmm. because there's the Hyde Park part, and then there's the King's Road part, and there's the Soho bit. So that is patchouli, sandalwood, incense. That. So this is where you got woods as background, mm -hmm. but it's very fruity at the top. Yeah, it's lovely. This and Tarts Nicker Draw was one of the things I after I did my um, summer here. I bought these nine mils for myself, and I got a note from Martha as well. Did you yeah, did? Yeah, yeah. You managed wow. to buy stuff off us, and we didn't. <coughs> yeah, because I wanted to, like I wanted the experience of like actually buying something and have it coming in the mail, and so oh, I had, like okay. the sellotape tape and everything. It was really cool. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Had the cellar tape and everything. Yeah. Well, the cellar tape's important, oh, yeah. you know. Our cellar tape. Um, so I'm. Um, I would like to talk about two things which sit in the centre of fragrances. <clears throat> Three things. No one expects. Um, all right. First of all. This. Thanks. What, what is that? Lina Lowell. Oh, the thing that's always on the back of the um the labels. It's it yes because it's one of the skin sensitizers, mm. but it's in lavender. It's in lots of woods, but this is it by itself. Mm, it is. Yeah. It's, you can smell this in lavender. Mhm. Mm that like smells I'm like, oh yes. So, whole wood smells almost identical because Lina Lowell is to whole wood the way that vanillin is to vanilla mm. and tonka, uh, coumarin is to tonka and it's just pretty much all of it. Oh, really? So, I tend to let the Lina Lowell out because it, I know it's going to be consistent. So, I know some people call it Lina Lul, mm -hmm. <laughs> some people call it Lina Lol. But it's actually from the linalol tree, and it's in the al and an alcohol. So it's actually it Lina was linalol. Yes. Yeah. It just it looks like linalool. But I'm not sure there's anyone 
left who calls it that, pardon me. I, I learned that at school. What, Lina Lowell? Lina Lowell, yeah. Because mm. if you've only ever seen it written down, mm. <laughs> what would you do? Guess yeah, but... Oh. Mm. Sorry. I was going to say it's a bit fizzy. Fizzy. Mm. I sort of get that. Yeah. Like sizzling. It's like, it's just like up here. It's up here. And it's like dancing. Mm. That makes sense. It's a very good blender and mixer. Mm. It makes friends with other woods. I'm not fond of it by itself, but I use yeah. it in the heart of my Sheepra fragrances. Um, yeah. Because it's slightly really like clinical, but I'm guessing it's because maybe it's used in clinically stuff. Like cleaning oh, stuff. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it, does, <coughs> it does smell very clean to mm. me. It's sort of almost the opposite of patchouli. Yeah. Patchouli. I can say patchouli. Um, now, okay. Let's do this. Can't smell all these other things. I mean, the, there's the lovely oak wood CO2 extract as well that smells like whiskey barrels because that's what it's made from. Mm. Right, so. It's the pencils. Mm -hmm. It's the pencils Which is one. Virginia cedar wood. Virginian cedar wood. Yeah. And Texan cedar wood smells a bit like it. Mm. They are actually not cedars. Oh. They're called cedar wood, but they are juniper trees. Oh. They're a kind of juniper tree. I don't know why they're called cedar, but mm. they are. But Virginian cedar and Texan cedar are quite similar. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Again, like I'm not a big. Like, this wouldn't be my wood. If I was to choose a wood, I wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily choose Virginia um, I, I quite often do. So this is Amber Woods for Men in Tents, of which <laughs> we have a little left, named by Arthur. Well, I don't think. Incidentally, it... no. It was yeah. because you smelt something is... that uh, it was actually called it was Bentley Amber. Something for men in tents. Yeah. I thought it was you who said what men in tents. So we called this one. See, I think it was you who was made that really? joke. Wasn't it one of our customers? Then, no, it don't. Anarchy? I thought it was Tanya. Okay. It was Tanya Anarchy. Yeah, maybe it was. It wasn't me who made that. That's far too good for me. Yeah, That's far too good a joke for me. Well, I'm going to attribute it to Tanya Anarchy. I think so. It was I think her too. Let's. Because yeah. I remember like, the story going for something like, oh, she like, but she hung out for a while Be between um, yeah. yeah between jobs she yeah. she helped Strings, bottles and yeah. everything for it so yeah so what I've just given you has got both the linen Lowell and the Virginian cedar wood in hmm. and so that's a demo of they they give it they kind of put muscles on its bones mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily obvious staring at its skin. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is more ambery. It feels very rounded, which is nice. Yeah, so that's what some of these cedars do. So don't be put off if you don't like pencils. The, mm -mm. the Virginian cedar wood can disappear into your fragrance in a... It's just in a friendly way. One of the things that I do on the, the intensive courses is make people put something in their fragrance that they don't like. Mm -hmm. To see what happens, mm -hmm. just just to make people go, oh, I never thought of that because I don't like it. Be because that's it's important. Mm. It's like the way shadows. If you're painting, you now if mm. you if you're painting a green apple, the shadow is not black. You put the mm -hmm. shadow is purple. It's like the opposite color wheel thing, mm -hmm. and then it. But nobody goes. Oh, hang on, is that shadow purple? It just looks like a shadow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm saying that you put things in and they transform and give an impression of something else. When you're painting people, you must always do the shadows with blue. Must you? Mm. Okay. Mm, I did not know that. I, I know that's mm. not about It's pretty raffle I think. But it's true. It? Actually, what you do is you paint you paint a, a, a monochromatic um, uh, shading of the person in blue first, and then you layer on the warm skin tones on top of that. Oh, okay. See, I because that, if you look at skin, it obviously yeah. the the blood and stuff all looks it looks blue. Are we just talking about white people, potentially. No, I don't just think the so. Sort. Yeah, no, maybe, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Because when yeah. I've no, blue I, I'm my I've yeah. got warm undertones. 
So I, you yeah, probably, maybe not. yeah, if you painted me, you might have to put like yellows and and then build on the brown. Oh yeah. And have like peach in there as well. It's funny because a lot of people don't, don't think you can't use peach for brown people. Well, you can. <laughs> it's underneath, and then you, <laughs> you build on top. There we go. Yeah. yeah, that's like that whole thing about the makeup when we saw that talk. Oh with yeah. Fumi. Like. Oh god, to love Fumi. We love Fumi. Yeah. That's Fumi who wrote on the back of our. Yeah. Oh. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know you know. Um, I've never right. Met okay. Fumi. So, what have we got? Hmm, what at the this? cedar in almost. Oh. This is at the cedar. I didn't say it. So at the cedar smells much more similar to Himalayan cedar, which is actually the sacred tree of Pakistan. Oh, that's and nice. yeah, yeah, I think it's good to have a sacred tree. Yeah. Um, this is gorgeous. Yes. I really like this. I find it also sh short haired furry furry cat again. Mm. I, I think of this as another cat in the yeah. in the woods. Mm. Up the Atlas Mountains. You've been up the Atlas Mountains here. Yeah? I have. I've been up the Atlas mm. Mountains, down the other side. Um, I don't climbed to Cal by myself. Did you? Yeah. A solo ascent. That sounds dangerous. The highest dangerous. mountain. In the, yeah, it's not, it's, not, okay. it's not a dangerous mountain though. All right. That's all right then. I can't remember where I put this in. I'm sure it's in Midnight in the Palace Garden. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. If, I, if you just go, Yeah. there it is. See, I've lost it. <laughs> What's what? You're Midnight, do you want another one? No, yeah. Okay. well, all of them. Yes. Sort of Arthur's made these plain pick-up sticks with his... <laughs> He's got that. Whereas I have laid them out neatly but not written on them yeah. and surprised the only one who actually did it right today. I, I've separated mine, just because I'm such you know, a teacher's pet, I separated mine into materials and perfumes. Wow. Just for added fun. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. You basically win. <laughs> But yes, it's oh. it's kind of then then it leaps out at you yeah. when you smell the midnight mm. in the past garden. I can smell juice in midnight in the past garden now. Oh, there's a lot of juice in there. Yeah. Juice. Yeah, like yeah. a bit of squeezed oranges. Orange, orange juice, blood orange. grapefruit juice. Ah, I get so the it's the yeah, it's the because it's. Oh, it's so I mean, it, good. It is yeah. a it is a vision in my mind of. Mm somewhere like the Alhambra Palace, but you know, arriving back across the desert on your camel to a a nice peaceful <coughs> courtyard inside the palace. There go the, the, the police. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, I mean, see, when I saw my in the palace garden, I got a whole story, which I'm probably, it might be too long to share here. But it's the same thing of like, your like secluded little area and there's like a bath there, and it's like a cool foot bathtub and there's like oranges in the water and like there's a beautiful lady, she's got long brown hair. But it's like the night before the, like, the break of like war. In, in the dawn, oh. so there's like this like whole kind of like romantic, well, a bit of yeah, intense. But we might be die. That whole like romantic thing. See yeah. what I what I get is. Um... <clears throat> I love it. <laughs> I like it. Show you. I'll sing along after don't do. You know what that is. Yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea. Aladdin. Aladdin Sarah, come on. <laughs> Well, I didn't know. True, it was sort of Disney, and it might be that came out what nineteen something. You were doing. I know I was born. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah. you were doing something about it. Yeah, funny yeah. fledged adult. You're not really yeah. faffing around. With I just Disney. get Aladdin on his magic he carpet singing, singing. Ruined it for me. Ruined it. You Disneyed it. Yeah. Oh, all right, never mind. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm still back to Aiden Turner, <laughs> dressed up. And riding along in the camel. I can say, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I'm back. Although in the beginning of Aladdin, there is the um, person who's like on a camel, and he's like, Arabian Nights. Yeah. Nice. See, that could be... <laughs> so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> I just wanted it to be a nice, comfortable... It's, it's like a place yeah. that I stayed at in, in Morocco, just outside It's Marrakech. utterly... It's gorgeous. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. It's a masterpiece, mm -hmm. um, so Midnight in the Palace Garden is. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. See, this is one that's just like a standalone. Like you don't layer it, you don't touch it, you just you, you don't put mess it, with you it. put it on. You and do you, not. Yeah. It's um. It's possibly the the, the most sophisticated perfume that I own. Mm. I wear it when I'm like I want to be. Really. I'm gonna have to put my fingers in my ears and not listen, <laughs> otherwise my head will not go through the door. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I might wear this tonight actually. I'm falling in love with it. Ooh. You better be doing something good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sorry for watching X Factor. No. 
Yeah. No, I think I think you're allowed to put this on at home, mm. put your feet up, and watch Gogglebox. Mm. <sighs> oh, that in a bath bomb <laughs> would be amazing. You just had a go at me for playing Disney. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking well, about wearing Midnight in the Pascal and watch Goggle Box. Box. I love Goggle Box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you know what this is? Yeah. No. What is it then? It's Buddhawood Box. It's Buddha Body Language. language. Which it's Body is, Language. Which is Buddhawood Box and Sexy Santa on the Planet. Yeah. Put together because Buddhawood Box scared some people. But it, it is does. A lot. I wonder mm. I should just read out the story. I love the story of Buddhawood Box. Oh, it's really good. I've got one. Even though I made it all. Yeah. yeah. So, this has got Buddhawood in it, which is an Australian sandalwood, which I don't have out because I've not got very much. Uh, no, Australian rosewood. It's Australian yeah. desert rosewood, and it is. Here's the helicopter. It's really. It's not smoky, it's, well, it's sort of smoky and spicy. It's as if you set fire to a load of spices and went back and smelt it the next morning. Mm. It's very unusual. Mm. I put the oak wood in, I've got sandalwood in, I've got cedarwood in. So Buddha wood box is, it's all about those with some brandy and whiskey smells in as well for the journey mm -hmm. home from Australia in 1933 for the story. Mm. I really like it. Yeah. I'm liking our little retrospective, yeah. where we get to yeah. smell the stuff. Like, we always get like this, not like, um, it's not oniony, but it's that thing of, like, the, you know, the, not the texture, but you know the bit of the onion that, like, kind of, like, stings, but it's not, it doesn't burn your eyes. Try like, it, on the bit. Yeah, it's like getting yeah, it, it's got that to yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, the, the pleasant part of onion. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't it's actually it doesn't actually smell of onion. No, 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 it doesn't smell of onion. Just, um, just clarify. <laughs> um, and what we the only thing we haven't sort of gone deep into here mm. is the is the scary woods, um, things like karma wood, um, no limber no, uh, right, amber extreme. Those woody angry things which um, come at you down the street. Now, I couldn't, this was so off my scale, I couldn't smell it when I first bought it. Yeah. And so people said, Well, you can't smell no limbinol. No limbinol is. Oh, this is, I don't know how I feel about that. That is. Um... It is seriously, yeah. in the, it's in the manly parts of the shop. Yeah, it's but the... that's that's mm -hmm. a bloke who has mistaken yeah. a can of deodorant for a shower. Yeah, I I would I would completely agree with you, Arthur. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He's just he's just finished practice of whatever team sport he yeah. does, and he's gone. It's definitely sweaty. Sorry if you can hear my tongue. It's like the, <laughs> it's <laughs> over the topic. It, yeah. you know. <sighs> if people want to wear fragrances that precede them into the room. I think yeah. Quentin Crisp said one should never wear a hat with more personality than oneself. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes well, I, I think there are some fragrances mm. that just have so much personality to themselves that it's mm. just too much to put them on a person. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a huge. It's, it's, it's aggro. Look, it? it's not. It's not my. Yeah. It's not my area. No. I. I mean, I. Now I can see whacking a drop of it into something. Yeah. yeah. To add like a little metallic element on the top. Mm. Which which I have, you know, I, and to be fair, these things. Half a percent in the the in a kilo. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it 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 gives it a good kick. Mm -hmm. I have used half a percent of amber extreme in things, and you wouldn't know. No, but it... that, that's what I think it's for is mm. to, to is to help it it's like um, maybe putting a little battery on a bicycle mm. rather than yeah. if you use the whole lot of it it, it would be a, a tent on truck um, yeah 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 it's so weird totally. so um, when I had COVID um, I couldn't eat anything that had tomatoes or fit. anything it just tasted and smelled funny and it had the same kind of metallic -y thing that I'm smelling in this and yeah it's so weird mm. yeah it's odd but these yeah. things exist and if, if yeah. somebody really wants to yeah. make a a banging 
blow key because that's their thing. Yeah, I let think, me let me yeah. not. You know, no, 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 it's no. not mine. It's I fine. I think if mm-hmm. you're older than sixteen and you wear something that smells like this, you need to have a word. <laughs> a word with word. yourself. <laughs> I don't know why sixteen-year-olds wear it because puberty. Mm. Because <laughs> puberty, that's just. Be but I mean, let's let's not. I mean, let's yeah. let's face it. You know, I think mm-hmm. there's a lot of linkses, axes out yeah. there. There's a good deal more subtle oh, and lovely yeah. Yeah. than some fragrances mm-hmm. currently being <clears throat> sold at 120 quid a bottle with a shed load of that in. Yeah. So yeah. I think it definitely has its place in certain. Whoops, and it's gone. But it's on the floor. Its place is <laughs> actually yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Not a, not a, not a so I think thing. we. Uh, Voting, the real oud came mm-hmm. kind of seriously top. Oh yes, it's, it's still really like, good. It's still doing its amazing stuff. I'm so happy mm-hmm. with this. <laughs> good. There goes my. Do you wanna? Are you serious? Yeah, you can have it because that's all there is. So I can't get any more. So I can't oh, buy it. So I it's love like it. I'm just that's it. Skin. You can have it. Yes. Are you sure? No, I can't take that. Thing, so if you Look, that's all there is. Up. That's all there is. Fine. It's all right. You can have it. Thank you. Um, after a while, I'm giving presents oh, yeah. away. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry, present. I'll have the, uh, oh, the Dreamwood base, the thanks. Dreamwood base. <laughs> Thank you, I need it. Um, you can have something I'd made with the Dreamwood base. Yeah. That was in like the midnight. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I love the Ambrox because it has... I did, didn't talk about it in this, but it, the, of the amber, mm-hmm. uh, amber powerful thingies, that's my favourite, and that just... So it's kind of woodsy helps the woods um white birch useful but use a tiny amount mm-hmm. lina lowell yeah, yeah in the middle yeah um, i didn't talk about the said ramba because that's cedary and ambery and we could mm-hmm. um cabreva only got one stick left you can smell it so cabreva mm. comes it's tapped from a rainforest tree but oh, it's okay yummy. because uh, it's mm. it's being carefully not over tapped. Mm. It's yummy. So that's a a resin mm. that comes out of the <clears> resin. <throat> I find that it's almost halfway between the two kinds of cedar mm-hmm. for me. Yeah, I, I really like this. Yeah, I I use that in actually a lot of things and then just forget to tell people. Mm. Um, <clears> that, yeah, that yeah. So that's a, that's a bunch of woods. I mean, there are many, many more synthetics. There are mm-hmm. a few more naturals. But I don't really think if like someone was looking to start with fragrance or something, like having a few of those would be a good place to start. Yeah, I tend to put. I mean, what have we got in the kit? All of those: mm-hmm. sandal or uh, linalool, mm-hmm. sedramba, cedarwood, Virginia and cedarwood atlas. We put in amaris. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you could get going. You could yeah, certainly you could get going. Yeah. Make a few, make a few good woody fragrances of that, and use the vetiver, 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 vetiver. Just a touch. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Woods. If you go down to the woods today.